Um, so, so basically, the steno keyboard was invented uh, in 1911, and it's been unchanged since then, uh, except that now it's hooked up to computers, and instead of manual transcription, it's all done by the computer. Um, so each word uh, is encoded in a series of capital letters the, um, in a specified order. The beginning consonants of a syllable are on the left side of the keyboard, the ending consonants are on the right side, and then the vowels, vowels are in the middle and operated with the thumbs. So if you want to do a word like start, you would just write S-T-A-R-T, which is one stroke, start. Um, so it, it takes that S-T-A-R-T stroke and it sends it through the dictionary. The dictionary uh, looks it up, sees that it is mapped to the word start, and then it outputs that word um, to the open window. So this is just Vim, a text editor, and um, Plover, the, the steno software, is emulating the QWERTY keyboard. So when I write start in a single, single stroke, it comes out, start. Um, I see you do things where you correct words. Yes. How do you do that? Um, so there's a key called the asterisk key, which helps to, to differentiate uh, words with different spellings, uh, such as, let's see, um, patience and patience. So the only difference there was that I added the asterisk to the word P-A-I-R-E-U-R-B-T, um, which is pronounced paced. Um, so when I hit the asterisk key on its own, it just de deletes the last stroke that I wrote from the, from the buffer and then retranslates the buffer. So I go like this. Uh, and it just was as if I had never hit that key, uh, or that stroke that created the word this. So error correction in Steno is much more efficient than it is in QWERTY. Because you're essentially deleting whole words um, with each time you hit the asterisk, ah, asterisk key. So you don't have to break each word down into its individual component letters and uh, backspace. I can backspace manually if I want. I can send the command that is equivalent, equivalent to the backspace command. So I can do this. But that's much more tedious. So I just uh, usually tend to use the asterisk. How long did it take you to learn to do this uh, in real time? So I started Steno School in 2005, and exactly a year and a half to the day later, uh, in 2007, I graduated from Steno School with a certificate at 225 words per minute. But I wasn't quite ready yet to do real, real time for deaf and hard of hearing college students and professionals, because I needed to enhance my dictionary and um, expand my, my Steno vocabulary, as well as uh, some other, you know, deaf culture specific uh, learning that I needed to do. So I interned with a professional captioner for six months before starting to work professionally. So if you have any more uh, questions, go to openstenoproject.org. Software is free, the training, uh, drills, and tutorials, oops, tutorial, ah, those are free. And the hardware ranges between 100 to $200. Thank you.